Hello again, Mr RQ Stuff here. Now you may remember a while back I bought a fake gramophone at a car boot sale. Now one of the problems with it was that the horn didn't attach properly. And the reason was that this item here, the elbow, is broken. So what I'm going to do is clean these parts up and have a go soldering them back together again. Firstly, just wanted to say that I have no experience in doing this, so this is not a tutorial video. Now I've no idea if these are cleaned up enough, but I'm going to go with it and see how far I get. I plan to use some flux and um, I'm also going to wire together or wire these parts up so that the existing solder joints don't give way or hopefully don't give way. Well it's certainly not perfect, but I'm going to let it cool down and give it a close examination. Well that was a palaver, but I got there in the end. What I didn't show on camera was that I also heated it up with the hot air gun and actually touched it up with my normal soldering iron. So I used some lead free silver solder for that. This should have a melting point slightly lower than this uh, plumber's solder that I was using in the first part of the video. I am going to clean it up now with a bit of sandpaper. And then I think I ought to try it on the gramophone and see if it actually works. Well that worked. The horn is really quite heavy. I'm not sure I trust that joint. I really am expecting it to uh, just ping at any point and just come loose. This is actually one of the telltale signs of fake ground phones is this sort of uh, two part arrangement at the back here that I've just resoldered back together again. The original ones actually had a continuous piece of pipe which was much stronger. There's clearly a lot of work that needs to be done on this machine but that will be for another video. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.